Okay, guys. <clears throat> I want to show you a little something that I made for Addison. She said she wanted a house uh, under the ground, but she wanted it to look like there was tents on the ground level. So, come up with a little idea. And I would use this wool to make these tents, right? Open the tents, and there's just a... Uh, Two beds in there like bunk beds you know like uh, that's all you're gonna do is in here is sleep but you go to this tent open the door <gasps> whoa what's this let's go ahead and go inside looks like a pretty nice little house We've got a crafting area stock full of goodies uh, just use that as decoration Cool little fireplace. I actually used some uh, indirect so it would constantly burn. Oops. Haha, <laughs> I might need to replace that. Let's see. Right. Right. Indirect. <laughs> Nether rack, excuse me. Leave it to me. Leave it to Beaver. I like crafting mode sometimes because it lets you make some pretty neat stuff, you know. You can come up with some cool things. <clears throat> anyway, put a clock on here. And it actually works, you know, whenever it's daytime. I don't know if y'all ever noticed that. Putting a clock in a frame, it actually works. <clears throat> I'm not sure about the compass. I don't think it would work the same way, but... I don't know where did that clock go that I just took out of there. Disappearing clock. Well, I don't even know where to find the clock. Awesome. Anyway, moving on, we'll get back to that. <laughs> um, this iron working right here. It's chock full of some stuff to repair. And a brewing stand, chock full of stuff to brew with. Bedroom, two, two beds. Uh, got your armor here with a diamond sword. Diamond armor, diamond sword. Gold armor, gold sword. Nice little kitchenette area here. Got your stove. Didn't put a table in here because you're going to eat on the run anyway. Got plenty of coal to cook things. Plenty of uh, extra snack goodies to supplement with your meats. And your stove, which I don't know if y'all have ever seen anything like this. You can take an activator rail and make sure you've got some form of redstone anywhere around it. Actually on this one, there's redstone behind it and a wall and there's redstone blocks here and here. But it works the same way either way you want to do it and you place your redstone wherever you're going to put it to where it would be in line with this activator rail and then you place the activator rail on top of the stove now mind you it's going to be tough the first few times you do it because you're going to have to kind of be in between the wall and the stove or the brick oven whichever and uh eventually you'll get it you'll figure it out how you can get it placed on there <coughs> see these uh this knowledge going from these books here is kind of a library, but it's pretty good. The more bookcases you have around your enchanting table, the higher your performance is going to be whenever you're enchanting something. Like, well, just let's just give a for instance. Let's say, well, I don't have any coins or whatever, or not coins, but points. Let's just say we've got an iron sword and we want to enchant it. Let's see here. Let's get some lapis. Now, we're going to place this sword on here. See what we can get out of it. Okay. Look at what this could be. You could have a level 30. That's insane. That is insane. You don't even have to put no lapis on there. You just enchant the thing. I guess because it's diamond anyway. But that is a super sword, son. Anyway, uh, 
I've always wondered, can you enchant a flint stone? No. Flint and steel. Nope, you can't. Alright, moving on. Um, showed y'all that, showed y'all that. Okay, now we're going to go downstairs. we got a little storage area. This is uh, stuff that she made for my brothers and sister and one of their friends that we play with. Got plenty of swords and weapons. And two other chests if you want to put anything in it. She gives them, she give them some, like, she calls them presents. Uh, whenever they come play with her, you know, she'll give them, like, diamond armor, flowers, just something that they might like. You know, this one's got some spawns in it. And then a token of undying. I think all of them's actually got one of those. She just thinks it'd be neat. I mean, yeah, we stole it off from creative mode, but still, it's pretty nice. Anyhow, uh, rate this video, tell us what you think. If there's anything you want to learn how to make, like we made in this, uh, let us know. We could do a tutorial video. Anyway, TTFN, top top for now.